What is going on everybody? It's your boy Pizza and today we will be going over 10 secret tips, tricks, and glitches in Madden NFL 17 that you may not have known. Now all that I'm asking is if there is one tip, glitch, or trick that you didn't know that you learned in this video, if you wouldn't mind taking a second to hit the like button, it definitely does help out so much. Now I know it's pretty crazy, but I'm aiming for 5,000 likes on this video. If we can hit that point, then I'll know that you guys would like to see more stuff like this in the future. With that said, it is time for my top 10 tips, tricks, and glitches in Madden 17. Now starting it off at number one will be the field goal hold glitch. I would like to give a huge shout out to my friend Ricky for finding this one. This is by far one of the most effective glitches that you will ever see in Madden 17. Now whenever kicking a field goal, you want to get into the habit of holding in the A or X button if you're on PlayStation. Now as you can see, I was clearly going to miss that penalty to the right, but because I held in the A button, I was given an opportunity to wait until the play clock ran out. Now there are a few minor flaws of using this method. Number Number one, you're not able to call a timeout whenever you're holding in the field goal. And number two, you're going to lose five yards by taking the delay of game penalty. Regardless, anything is better than missing a field goal and giving your opponent great field possession. Another thing that I found this to be very, very helpful with was extra points. People miss extra points left and right in this game. And even if you take a five yard penalty, it's not going to affect you too much because the extra point is still going to be short yardage. Now moving on to number two, did you know that you could change players ratings in connected franchise mode? Yep, that's true. And it works for both on and offline connected franchises. Take the Steelers defense, for example. It seems like they're in need of a cornerback. So all we have to do is go over to Willie Gay, go to edit player, and then move over to his ratings. From here, you can go ahead and change any single statistic that you want. We're gonna up his speed and obviously man zone, and heck, we'll even do press coverage as well. When you're done, just press B and save changes, and now you're off to having yourself an amazing lockdown cornerback with great man and zone coverage. You can actually also do this against players on other teams. Let's take JJ Watt, for example, and just put down some of his stats. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you would want to do this. Maybe if you're versing somebody on another team that's giving you problems, or heck, maybe even if you want to trade for a player and don't want to have to turn off trades in your franchise mode. Hey, who the heck wouldn't want to get free draft picks in Madden Connected Franchise? Right after week four of the preseason, make sure you dart straight over to the free agents because this is where all of the magic is going to happen. Here is going to be a list of all the players that got released on the final cut day of the NFL preseason. Now, this is going to draw a lot of attention from many computer teams, especially if they're in the need of a specific position. What you're looking for is somebody that is very young and has very few experience as well. I found myself a free safety out of Virginia Tech. After you find the guys that you want, just go ahead and sign them to your roster. Up next is as simple as going to the Trade Center and finding a team that has a high need for the position that you just got. I found the Indianapolis Colts that has a number one need at free safety. This means that they're going to give us the maximum value for the player that we just signed. Obviously, you want to get the maximum value value out of the players that you sign. So I normally like starting it off with a number one draft pick. If they reject, just move it down to a second, third, and etc. I ended up getting a third round pick completely free from doing this method. Now, don't forget, you can do this with multiple players at once and even trade your picks away for higher picks after you do them. Are you tired of seeing all those people snipe your crazy good cards off the auction block? Well, with this method, you won't miss any more snipes whatsoever. Now, normally, whenever you see a person going on the auction block to search a player, what they'll do is go by the player name, then do quality and their position and set up exactly how that they want it. Now, even though that this is perfectly fine, anybody that's really experienced with sniping cards off the auction block knows that how important it is to even shed hundreds of a second off of your time. We're going to take this 85 overall elite Calvin Benjamin, for example, who just so happens to be in the week two team of the week collection. Now, just about everybody knows that you can search for cards straight from the collection, but there is one thing that people are doing wrong. Whenever they go in to search for the card, what they're doing is filter it by the buy it now price. What you really want to do is take a note of what the cheapest card really is and then back out. And then whenever you go back in, what you want to do is filter it by newest instead of buy it now. Because of this, you only have to go up two spots instead of four whenever you're searching for players. Now this might seem pretty silly, but it actually does help out a lot. I find this to be very helpful with certain puzzle pieces and badges as well, because they're very hard to specifically find on the auction block. As you guys can see here, I had a very nice type of 10,000 coins for a puzzle piece that was worth over 60,000. You ever get tired of using the same old roster over and over again in Madden 17? Today, I'm going to show you how to download some custom rosters so maybe you can spice up some of your connected franchises or just have a little bit more fun whenever you're playing games. 
You want to start it off by going to share and manage files. After this, go and click on download community files. This is where everybody's user creations are submitted. By the way, you actually can submit your own rosters as well. Anyways, if you're looking for a really cool download and don't exactly know what you want, I normally like to go to downloads and see which rosters are the most downloaded. It's as simple as pressing the roster and clicking download file. Now, this might take a couple seconds to complete it, but after it's done, this is the part where a lot of you guys get confused and don't exactly know what to do after you download it to play with these rosters so basically just back out go to load and delete files after you click on that press rb or r1 on playstation and then find the roster that you just downloaded and load it up now these players should all be ready to go for a connected franchise for the gauntlet or just some regular head-to-head -head play this one has a bunch of different legends and i definitely recommend trying this one out this guy spends a lot of time on these so if you want to download it go ahead and check this one out it now seems like it's time to show you guys another glitch this especially works very well whenever playing connected franchise mode as you guys can see i'm down by one point and i only have one timeout left the baltimore ravens have the ball and they can basically almost run all the clock out in order to prevent the computer from running the clock out what you want to do is come out in the field goal load block right so obviously this is a running situation for the baltimore ravens but because you're coming out in the field goal block that is going to force them to want to pass the ball from here you want to audible to your favorite play defensively use the linebacker cornerback and try to force a turnover as you see i do right there and now we have the ball and a chance to actually win the game when before we really had no chance whatsoever keep in mind you do want to do this before the offense comes out in a qb kneel formation because if they do they will not audible out to a pass play the ideal time to do this is in between the one minute and 35 seconds to one minute and 50 second range after the two minute warning is over with this next tip you might want to consider the next time you want to take a kick return out of the end zone according to a bit of research done by the all madden all stars 63 percent of the time that you return a kick from the end zone you're going to get tackled behind the 25 yard line now don't forget you're going to be getting the ball from a touchback on the 25 yard line as opposed to the 20 yard line because of the new rule changes made by the nfl so if it's a pretty close game or you're not the best kicker turner in the world i would definitely recommend just taking a touchback to get the extra yards to start your drive off on offense this next little trick is going to show you how to switch a player's position to anywhere on the field that you want them to be at now i know a lot of you guys probably already know how to do this but once again this is one of the most requested things that i get in my comments section so first off you want to go to your player roster click on the player that you want and go to edit player from here all you have to do is go to the position and pick whatever position that you want to change him to we just put rob gronkowski as a middle linebacker and as you guys can see he's only a 22 overall since a lot of you guys like to do this and already know how to do it a lot of you run into this problem of not being able to switch a specific person's position to where you actually want them at take this jj watt for example whenever we go to save player to put him at the tight end position he won't move and he's going to stay at the right end position basically all that is happening is you don't have enough people at the position that you want to switch out of so all that you have to do for example jj watt is a right end is go ahead and pick up a right end for the texans and then after that just go over to the player and you should have no problems whatsoever switching them to wherever you guys want them to be at quick tip which is actually pretty cool for connected franchise mode many players are actually a better overall whenever you switch their positions let's take this 76 overall mark baron right outside linebacker for example whenever you switch him to his original position at the free safety spot he turns into an 81 overall which is going to be a tremendous upgrade for your team and now it is finally time to be able to stop the quarterback sneak in madden 17 for any of you guys that have been playing madden for a long time you know that the quarterback sneak is one of the most overpowered short yardage plays in all of madden history all that you're going to have to do is go to the goal line 542 formation and look for the play called sam blitz now this play is great because there's only one adjustment that you have to make and that is spreading your defensive line you do this by pressing left on the d-pad and then up. From here, as you can see, the defensive tackle is going to come straight through and smack the quarterback almost every single time. Because you're spreading your defensive line instead of pinching it, your opponent is never going to see this play coming. Also, please make sure to note that you don't move any of the players on your defense around, especially the ones on the defensive line. Because if you do this, this can mess up the blitz that is running, and the play is more than likely not going to work for you. Last but not least, and possibly my favorite secret, is the ageless player glitch. Now, you can do this with any player that you want to and connect franchise today we're going to do it with the man himself tom brady as most of you know that had a play through an entire season of connected franchise tom brady actually does retire after his first year what you can actually do is go into edit player and change his age to as young as you want him to i went ahead and changed tom brady 
to the youngest you could possibly make a player, which is only 20 years old. After that, I went ahead just to prove to you guys and sim through an entire season to show you that he actually will not retire and will be on your team for as long as you want him to because you can do this over and over and over again depending on how many years you keep your connected franchise going for. And man, do I wish that I could do this with Peyton Manning, bringing the ageless wonder back into Madden 17. All right, everybody, that was my top 10 tips, glitches, and tricks in Madden NFL 17. As said before, if there was just one of them that you didn't know, if you wouldn't mind taking a second to hit that like button, it definitely would help out more than you could ever imagine. Also, don't forget to let me know which secret was your favorite down in the comments below. And if you have a cool secret that I can use in my next video, also let me know and you might just get a shout out. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for stopping by. If you're new, do not forget to subscribe. As always, this is your boy Pizza. Please guys, do not forget to keep God number one. And until next time, I'm your boy and I'm out. Peace out, guys.